Hey everybody, today we're going to install a DIR825. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So what I wanted to do today was do a basic installation of a home router. In this case, it's the DIR825. This is one of our dual band 802.11n routers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume that you've never had a router before, that all you have is a uh, you know broadband modem that's connected to the internet, and that this is your very first install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the quick router setup wizard on the CD, and then we'll get you connected to the internet. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the package, and then we'll get started with the installation. Documentation, a stand in case you want it to be vertical, antennas, the power supply, the DIR825, an ethernet cable, and mounting hardware in case you want to hang it on the wall. The first thing that you'll see is there's a pair of antennas that go on this router. And on the back side, you'll see where they connect. Now, it's just important that when you put it on, you do it gently so that way you don't cross thread it and then just tighten it down until you have both of them on here. The next thing that you need to decide is how you're going to mount the router. Is it going to just be sitting on your desk flat like this? Or are you going to use the vertical stand or are you gonna mount it to the wall? Now, when you're just gonna sit it on your desk like this, um, it's fine, you don't really need to do anything uh, other than position the antennas. So you can see I have both antennas at a 45 degree angle that will get you the best coverage. Now, if you're gonna put it vertical, what you wanna do is you're going to want to make the antennas the same kind of way like this and then put it into the stand, which will hold it. And then you take these little feet and put them here. And that'll keep your router from sliding around on your desk. Now, for mounting the router on the wall, you're gonna wanna use the plastic uh, wall mounts and screws, and then just follow along this uh, little video that I made to show you how to do it. What I'm gonna do now is attach the device to the wall. For this, you're going to need a couple of plastic screw mounts and matching screws. We will also need measuring tape, a stud finder with current detector, a small hammer, a screw gun with a drill bit, and a screwing bit. Now, be sure before you drill any holes that you always check for electrical. Measure the two slider holes on the back of the device. Next, measure and mark where we will drill the holes for our plastic screw mounts. So now we're just gonna drill the hole for the plastic wall hangers. Yeah. Tap the screw mounts flush into the wall with a small hammer. Now, just drive the screws in far enough so that the device can slide down onto them. When you have it mounted on the wall, what you're going to want to do is take the antennas and aim them like this. So what that's going to do by making sure that your antennas are facing the right way is get you the best coverage for your house. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take our documentation and run the quick router setup wizard. As you can see on the sticker here, we don't connect it yet. That's actually part of the quick router setup. So let's go ahead and get to that. Insert the CD and let it auto run. When the welcome screen comes up, click the big install router button in the middle of the page. On the next page is the end user license agreement. Click agree. Next, you will be asked to select a language. Now the wizard will check your network adapter and your internet connection. Once those have passed the test, you're going to remove the sticker from the router. There is also a plastic film that needs to be removed because it blocks the vent holes. Disconnect the power from your broadband modem. Disconnect the ethernet cable from your modem and connect it to one of the four blue LAN ports on the back of the DIR825. Now connect the router power supply to a power strip then to the router. The wizard is now going to determine what model of router you have and upload some basic settings. This could take a couple of minutes, so be patient. 
Connect the provided Ethernet cable into the gray Internet port on the router. Then connect the other end into the Ethernet port where you disconnected the cable from your modem. The last hardware step is to reconnect your modem's power. The next thing we'll do is enter your username and password for your DSL connection. If you have cable broadband, you will skip this step. On the next screen, input a password for your router. I recommend using both letters and number when creating it. Next, you will change the name or SSIDs for your wireless network. The DIR825 is a dual band, so you will be adding one for the 2.4 GHz and one for the 5 GHz network. On the following page, you're going to choose the type of wireless security. I highly recommend using WPA unless you have to use WEP for a legacy device. Now you will be asked if you would like to optimize your router for the best speed. Leave this checked for the best results. On this page, you can check your settings. If they are correct, you're going to want to write them down. We have provided a nice place inside the CD holder's cover. Now the settings will be uploaded to the router. Once the step is complete, it is just a matter of clicking the Finish button to complete the setup. After this is done, you will be offered to add the D-Link toolbar to Internet Explorer. This is a handy way to get useful information, search, and add favorite sites. I'm going to add the button to D-Link TV. Well, there you have it. Our DIR825 is installed, ready to use, and secured. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.